Nancy. Brian. Nancy Edward. Mimlis. <laughs> <laughs> You're back on Berg Vivant. I am. I'm so excited. What keeps you coming back like a moth to a flame? <sighs> you. Oh, get out of here. All right, I'm leaving. I went to the, the wonderful performance of A Chase Made in Cheapside by Thomas Middleton. Oh, that's the name of the play. No, that's, yeah, it's not who I went with. It was actually the name of the play. <laughs> Say um, it again. A Chaste Made in Chess Cheapside. A okay. Cha Ugh. A, ch a Chaste Made in Cheapside. Okay. And it's um, by Thomas Middleton, and it is playing at the Peter Mills Auditorium at Duquesne. Oh, very good. Duquesne Red Masters. <laughs> it's an alumni and student production. Okay, some so... Some of the old favorites brought back, and some new students. Oh, well, that's an interesting concept. Yeah, okay. I guess they do that periodically. Hmm. Um, it is directed and designed by John Lane Jr., mm -hmm. Very well done, and it has a cast of 29. Oh. A couple of people, and many play multiple roles. Now, I have to guess that this is a play that was written many, many, many years ago. Because, yeah. <laughs> because of economic reasons, nobody is writing plays with 30 people it's that there, anymore. Yeah, and there's more. Because nobody most, wants to pay 30 people anymore. Yeah, it's definitely a huge cast, um, It and uh, many of them play multiple roles, so mm. it's actually only a huge play. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think it's um, safe to do it. And it's, mm -hmm. um, it is hilarious. It is a bit complicated because there's basically four plots going that, on. Okay, I can see the complication. Yes, it's yeah. already complicated. And it's very fast paced and it's very quick tongue. So you really have to pay attention or you're going to miss something. Oh, yeah. um, the first plot is Yellowhammer, uh, Mr. Yellowhammer has a daughter who is a yeah, Yellowhammer, I guess. Okay. It, who's a virgin mm -hmm. and chaste. And he wants to marry her off. And uh, Yellowhammer and his wife Maudlin are played by Jay Keenan and Nancy Love. Very hilarious, very body, very over the top. And their daughter, who the subplot of that is she's in love with um, Touchwood Jr. And no one, you know, let me just say the names, but they want to marry her off to Sir Walter Whorehound. No? No comment? Okay. Sir Walter what Warhound, who's having that? an affair and has several mistresses, one being John Allwitt's wife, who has many children by Sir Walter Warhound. He also has a mistress who is a um, Welsh gentlewoman who is trying to be married off to Yellowhammer's son, Tim. Well, you're really keeping very good track of all Yes. Of and then the other plot is um, that these promoters who are hilarious, and I have to look at their names, Bill Lyon and Eric Matthews are hilarious and are multiple characters. They sort of um, are spies and they're in like many scenes, but they're hilarious. So Nathaniel Yost was hilarious as all wit. <laughs> Enter the scene comes Tim, the, the son who comes home, who's a scholar, who doesn't want to marry anyone, and has um, his tutor with him, who is played by Tom, Tim Colbert, who's returning to Pittsburgh after a long time and is hilarious. Okay, now that I'm thoroughly confused, <laughs> tell me about the production. Okay. <clears throat> so the production is very, um, it's a Jacobian comedy. It's got all of the elements of um, uh, um, very sexual innuendo mixed with, you know, very uh, people confused about who's who and who's coming in and maybe this person should be with this person but they don't know that they're with mm -hmm. this person. But everyone does a great job of keeping their character intact. Um, a couple of other mentions are Corey Disball, or Bisball, who's da, uh, Davey, Davey, he's uh, like a servant, he's hilarious. Um, Abby Blackman, she plays a Puritan, and she also plays um, the wife who's hilariously pregnant and screaming in the beginning. Lots of uh, people coming in and out, lots of gossipers. Mm. Everyone's over the top, everyone's hilarious. Jay Keenan and Nancy Love, um, really... <laughs> take it up a notch and you just you you laugh so much you can't even follow the dialogue at times because it's so funny and john lane did a really good job at 
bringing all this crazy mayhem together. Mm. And then there's all this resolution at the end with weddings and a funeral. Well, I and should hope so. Yes. I mean, from what you've told I mean, me, it would take at least a wedding and a funeral to bring Weddings, all this funerals, together. people losing all their fortune, and uh, Oliver Kicks and his wife do get pregnant and have... The both of them? Well, no. Oh, wow. no! <laughs> the, that would be something to see. Just the wife <clears throat> who is... A, and her wig, which I thought was... She has this wig that she constantly has to bend down and to go in, in and out of rooms, and it. Flops. We all know how that is. I hate when my wig bends down. I have to. I have to say, <laughs> but it's it's really a fun night, and it's hilarious, and everybody does a great job at pulling it all pulling it all out, so to speak. I know I write so many notes and then I don't see half of them because I start looking at you and what, then I, I talk. What, would you rather me not look at you? No, I, I want to look at you. Is it, it my looking at you that is throwing you don't, off? Are you looking at me? I am looking are at you. Looking at Who me? do you think I'm talking to no. here? No. Oh, it's, come on, it's from De Niro. Are you looking at me? Really? Oh, that was your best De Niro impression? I'm a dude. I'm, I'm not a dude. But still. Something happens. I get in here and I just, I just, I turn into like a five-year-old. You have to do the, it's like Catherine Hepburn neck thing. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah. What was that? Catherine Hepburn neck. Oh, well, and it just made her voice all the more like. It's Parkinson's, I think. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think it's a medical condition. I thought she was just being sassy with people. Like, no, mm -hmm. I think Parkinson's. Now, when I imitate Catherine Hepburn, it is an homage. It is not making oh, no, fun. Oh, no, it is an homage, but I think she had Parkinson's. I think that's why. <laughs> and well, I think that's why. <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to hell. 